it just about how Matt Gates, a guy known for sex trafficking children, he is still a congressperson, hasn't been charged with anything, and right wingers still support him, even though they claim to be against uh, the sex trafficking of kids. Like, if you truly believe that, you wouldn't still be voting for Matt Gates. He would be advocating for this dude to be put in prison. Matt Gates spoke to constituents in Destin tonight. He hosted a town hall at Destin's community center where he gave a legislative update to his supporters. Monday night's town hall in Destin drew a big crowd of people. One of the big topics, the latest federal spending bill unveiled a few days ago. I was against the $1.2 trillion spending bill because it will increase inflation. It will fund. Yeah, who really cares what the dude who sex traffic kids says about anything? This dude should be in prison for what he's done. And the fact that he isn't is astounding because the United States doesn't care that one of their Congress people is a child rapist. Fund the border invasion, and we're not doing enough for our own country while spending just billions of dollars abroad uh, in disputes that I don't think are central to America's interests. Folks came out to hear Congressman Matt. If they were spending billions abroad, the sex traffic kids, I bet Matt Gates would be uh, all in favor of that, especially if he got access to the kids. Matt Gates' legislative update on his work here and in Washington. So much of our quality of life is tied to decision making in the United States Congress. Also, people here are feeling the pinch. Of Does he care about the quality of life of the kids that he's raped? I doubt it. Of an economy that's getting worse for folks. When you look at the interest rates uh, to buy a new home, when you look at uh, the interest rates on car loans or credit cards. He didn't shy away from his no vote against the $1.2 trillion spending package that averted a partial shutdown of the government. There was a $1.2 trillion spending bill that Congress passed. I voted no, and I'm here to explain to Northwest Florida. If that spending project uh, package allowed him to gain access to whatever child he wanted without any repercussion. You know, he would be in favor of this. Uh, Matt Gates, the child sex trafficker. Why that bill will lead to more inflation while it will continue to fund the border invasion and not really do what's necessary to save the country. Gates also talked about. Right, the dude that traffics children cares about the United States. All he cares about is gaining access to kids that's possible. About the defense industry of Northwest Florida. The military is about half the economy of Northwest Florida. So our legislative agenda is frequently focused on that military mission. And military growth to the area. We're going to have. Right. The dude that's all about raping kids cares about the military. Whatever, dude. He should be in prison, and the fact that he's in means that laws don't matter in the United States when this dude is known for raping kids. I have a lot more Space Force mission coming in to Eglin Air Force Base and uh, with some of our space assets. We've also got a new hangar system coming into Whiting Field for the new helicopters that we were able to get for the training mission there. We also asked the congressman about his message on House members not having enough time to make informed and reasonable decisions when they have 24 hours to read a thousand pages. According to Gay. Right, the dude that is supposedly reading these bills while raping kids is upset that there is not enough time. It's, it violates a House rule that bills be available 72 hours before a final vote. I'm most frustrated that the House of Representatives waived the 72-hour rule that I got into the House rule book so that we would have an opportunity to review complex legislation. If members of Congress... Right, the child rapist is upset over nothing. Congress are telling you they read all of the $1.2 trillion in spending that was tucked into this bill. They are not being honest. And that's why a vote in favor of this bill, in my view, is unconscionable. It's why